Hey there, everybody. It's Reynold Robert with No Pay No Stay Network. We're here in Pensacola. We're all about doing better financially, spiritually, mentally, healthy. And uh, I've got Tyson, the uh, uh, wonderful pit bull, right? Hello, everybody. Yep, that's Tyson right there. So he's making a cameo appearance right there. Um, we'll uh, get this straightened out. This is what Rec Neck and technology is all about. That's right. So today's been a pretty decent day. We, uh, we didn't have a dump trailer. We did have a booking, but they haven't paid for it yet. And the way I do mine is, is I send them an invoice through Square. And when they pay that invoice, then they're booked and they got um, their reservations. And so they're locked in. But otherwise, I've had too many people get real fickle at the last moment and change their minds and everything. And so I'm like, either you prepay or take your chance on the day that you wanted. It might not be available. And, uh, and so far, it's working for me. So... Um, made a few moves today as far as uh, some things going on. I'll share more of those in a video coming up. Wanted to say congratulations to my congratulations to my cousin Kendra and happy birthday to her. She bought her a tax deed house. Um, she's an entrepreneur and a um, real estate investor as well. But the biggest thing is she's a worldwide traveler. You know, she has been all over the place. Um, and very has a lot of really really cool pictures of everything that she's done and you know riding camels in Egypt and tigers in Bangkok and you know I mean just all kinds of stuff so you know she's definitely lived her life to the fullest and um, so that's pretty cool and I look forward to seeing the transformation that's going to occur with this house that she's gotten and uh, man it brings back some memories of some places that I have bought and um, you know one of the things like seeing that house of hers today and I bought a house here recently two weeks three weeks ago okay and I got to put a new roof on it that'll happen in the next two weeks but other than that virtually everything was just turnkey ready and, and you know there's somebody already in there paying rent they paid January's rent matter of fact the person that moves in that house is a convicted felon okay so what do you know about that well, guess what? I already knew about that. She's been a resident of mine for two and a half years, always on time and pays early, okay? And she lived in one of my places that uh, was real dumpy, but she knew it. She got a good deal on it. She was good with that, and she's improved her um, situation in life as far as gotten better paying jobs and whatnot. And so she had told me, she said, if you ever have anything come open, that's, you know, bigger and a nicer place, you know, please keep me in mind. Boom, this place comes up. She wants to make the move. It's done, okay? Um, and I say all of this to, you know, kind of let people know that, um, you know, because most of the time, you know, us as landlords are running background checks and credit checks, okay? Now, personally, on the background part, criminally, I only look for two things. I look for multiple distribution charges in the last five years, Okay, the reason for that is if you've been arrested, okay, with a quantity that qualifies for distribution and you're a recreational user, then a smart person will scale down and not carry as much weight so that they just get a misdemeanor. Otherwise, if you do that multiple times in that amount of time, then you've told me what you do for a living. You're a dealer, okay? And if somebody's a dealer, somebody's going to come kicking my door in and they're going to be looking for somebody that either ripped them off or they're going to be looking to rip somebody off. So, um, you know, we can't do, have that. The other thing I look for is domestic violence charges. Reason for that is, is that if you're going to beat on somebody, you'll beat on my house. And if you let somebody beat on you, you'll let somebody beat on my house. Okay? That's just what works for Robbo. All right? So... Just letting you know, about two months into COVID, I sent everybody a $50 gift card that is a resident of mine. Said, I know this thing's crazy. Um, I don't want you to pay any bills. Come on, man. Tyson's eating the cat food. I'm sorry. Get out. Get. And um, I told everybody, I said, do something frivolous. Go have a nice meal. Go get a 12-pack of beer. Get a manicure, massage, whatever. And only one person called me to say thank you. It was the convicted felon. So, there you have it. Tigers can change their stripes. And just because somebody might be convicted of a felony, 
doesn't mean they have to act like it for the rest of their life. So, with that being said, if you're not living your ideal dream life, then figure out what to do to change it so that you are. You know, every day I open my eyes, I'm excited for what's going to transpire throughout the day. And thankfully, I am living my dream. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm only going to have one more of these before it's going to be a whole new year. So stay tuned. I appreciate you watching. If you need me, you got any questions, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible. And if you send me an email asking what about laws having to do with the dump trailer, I will always respond that you need to know the laws of the state that you operate in. And a ring a ling a ling call you D-O-T, yeah, call you D-O-T, yeah. Call the DOT and find out what the law is because my interpretation of the laws might be different than your state and I guarantee my laws ain't the same as yours. Have a good night.